morning, 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 morning. So we are going to do something we haven't done in a little bit around here. And that is a 24 hour readathon. I am starting with Allie Hazelwoods. What's the name of this one? Below Zero. So Allie Hazelwoods Below Zero is what we're starting with. And let's see how many more books we can get in there. I've got a couple Christmas novels I'd like to squeeze in. I've got um, a couple cozy novels I'd like to squeeze in. We'll see how much I can get read today. Got my coffee now. It is 9.45 a.m. So I'm a little more awake than 6.45 when you first saw me. And I am 25, 26% through below zero. I'm really enjoying it. I'm getting ready to go to Huntsville next month. I'm going to the um, Space Museum there. So I have been really loving Allie Hazelwood's books. I've read like four this year. Really, really enjoy her STEM novels. Um, I'm going to do a year wrap up probably on New Year's Eve. That's probably when you'll get the video. But I've read something like 128 books this year so I'm really on the fence about how I'm going to do said year wrap up because I obviously can't talk about 128 books in a video so I'm going to figure something out and we're going to go from there but don't worry I'm going to do a year wrap up okay it is one o'clock 101 and we have finished below zero and I'm in a predicament because I love Allie Hazelwood books. Love her STEM romances. Love them. So, I'm in the mood to read another one. But I have so many Christmas no novels to read. I have like five Christmas books downloaded that I have not read. Uh, and it's like three days before Christmas. I've only read two Christmas books all month so far. So I'll let you know what I'm going to read, but I'm probably going to read a Christmas novel. That's what I should read. Okay, guys, we are reading The Mistletoe Bet by Marin Moore. That's what we're going to read. We're going to do the Christmas theme. It's three days until Christmas. We're going to do the Christmas thing. Hopefully we'll get this one finished today. My daughter has therapy, which is a big reading time for me. I sit in the lobby and read, so yeah. Hopefully getting this one done today as well. It's 3 o'clock on the dot and we are 44% through The Mistletoe Bet. This is definitely a quick read for me. It's a coming home Christmas Grinch story as she falls in love with the small town, brother's best friend, whatever. It's cute. It's Christmassy. It's putting me in the Christmas mood. So, yeah. Definitely going to finish this one probably by dinner. <laughs> hey, it's me. It is 6 o'clock. Uh, I don't remember if I told you that I finished Mistletoe, the Mistletoe Bet. That's what it was called. I kept wanting to say curse. I finished the Mistletoe Bet. Very hallmarky. Probably not going to do another Christmas book this year. I'm just not into the Christmas books this year. And that's okay. I'm making dinner right now, but I'm about 10% through Freedom McFadden's um, newest book. I believe it's called No Lies, but let me double check that. I lied. It's called Never Lie by Freedom McFadden. It is like a thriller. I needed something to break up the monotony of the Christmas books. So yeah, reading Never Lie by Freedom McFadden, 10% through. Don't know if I'll finish it tonight. If not, like two and a half books, I'm good with in a 24-hour period. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me. And you guys have a merry, merry Christmas.